Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Welcome. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. I'm very happy. Yes. More, I mean, happier because I am having one more day with you. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It, I got. I got very excited when they said, and I was like, "Yeah, I I want another day with them for sure." Yes, yes. So, um, I I say happy. <laughs> I am. I Elmer, come on, another day with the teacher. Just another exam from the teacher. Well. No, Hello, sorry. it is. I can see your forehead only. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I can see it. The whole module, I only saw her forehead. <laughs> es, es, uh, how do you say más, teacher, in English? More. More, more interesting? <laughs> yeah, it's more interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of uh, mysterious. Right when you are just like just just the eyes. Okay, good. Well, I am very glad to have you here, and for sure, even more uh, to have the opportunity to share another class with all of you. I hope you had a beautiful day today. So uh, we are going to be working on uh, a, a little bit of grammar, a little bit of conversation, and the reading. We are going to work on reading. And tomorrow we're going to have a full practice of different topics. So it's going to be very beneficial because I have prepared different topics for you to practice everything about uh, what we have studied. Okay, so it was beneficial for me because I, I will have the chance to actually cover many other things. And we're going to work on some listenings and pictures. Hello, good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. So for tomorrow, I have many, many interesting things prepared. I will say like, yeah, vamos a tener un día extra, lo vamos a hacer divertido. So we will have a lot of practice. We are going to do listening. We are going to do pictures. We are going to do activities. So it's going to be nice. I need around three hours, I said. <laughs> no, but it's only one. Don't worry. Well. So today we are going to start with um, a couple of speaking practice and then we are going to do the conversation and we are going to finish today with the reading, okay? So I was telling you yesterday that you had some extra practice on the manual. I don't know if you had the chance to, to see it. Tuvieron la oportunidad de revisar el manual y ver la, la práctica que estaba ahí. No, yes. Uh, no. In my case, no, teacher. Uh -huh. No. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I know you have a lot of things to do during your day, and I am sure about it. But make some minutes. Make some minutes every day. It, it is going to help you. It is going to help you a lot if you dedicate a couple of minutes every day. For you to practice, try to practice simple things because that, that is something that is going to be very beneficial, right? With the with the videos that I sent you, with the uh, with the practice on YouTube, there are, there is a lot of practice there. So I think you can you can actually uh, practice a lot from all these things that we have there. And we're going to work a little bit on some interaction questions first. And here I have. Let me share my screen with all of you. Welcome to all the rest of students who are just connecting. Welcome to the class. So we're going to start by checking on some conversation activities. And I have here a couple of questions. The first question that we have here, what is it? Who can help me to read it? Uh, 
Me teacher. Go ahead. What are some activities you dislike? What are some activities that you dislike? Things that you say like, I know, teacher, I don't like that. What are some activities that you dislike? That you do them maybe, but I mean, you don't like them. For example, uh, I don't know, washing the clothes or washing the dishes or going out, going to the supermarket. What are some activities that you dislike that you say, eh, I don't like them, but I do them. Y aunque no me gustan, las hago. Which ones? Think about it. And you can open your microphone and tell me. One activity that I dislike is doing homework. To do homework. Yeah, I understand, right? That is something like kind of like everybody dislikes it and you are like, ah, anyway. In my case, teacher, I dislike clean the house. Cleaning the house, right? I dislike cleaning the house. Okay, good. What else? I dislike doing my homework. <laughs> doing my homework. <laughs> and the teacher, <laughs> hicieron la tarea, hicieron la tarea. Ah, nah. I dislike no. it. What else do you dislike? In my case, I use like washing clothes and cooking. Washing clothes and cooking, right? Yeah, it's like mostly if it is by hand, right? Washing clothes and cooking. What else do you dislike? Yeah, sure. Yes? Sure. Yeah, in my case, uh, I don't like to cook, but I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I dislike cooking, but I love eating. You see? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's good. That's good. So, yeah, I dislike uh, iron the clothes. Ironing, ironing, ironing clothes. Yeah. ironing clothes, right? That is something that you dislike. Is it like I know ironing, and I think it is difficult because you iron the clothes and then some minutes later, wrinkles. So wrinkles are arrugas. Oh, repeat, teacher. I will send it on the chat. Wrinkles. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it is like a couple of seconds later, you iron everything so perfect then, and then they put it on, wrinkles. So those are things that we dislike. What about the next one? What type of exercise do you hate? I hate running. <laughs> yeah, I hate running, <laughs> me too. I, I like I like uh, Zumba, but I hate aerobics. So I, I love Zumba, but I hate aerobics. Like one, two, three, four. But I what's don't... the difference between between the two things? I never get that. Okay, Zumba, it's a little bit of it's similar to dance. I mean, you you dance, you do like kind of choreographies and stuff. And Aerobics are the ones that say like, okay, 10 repetitions, eh, 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 and then you jump and open and close. And it's, it's kind of exhausting. In Zumba, you just follow the choreography of the dance. So it's pretty nice. I, I do the one song. There is a channel on YouTube about Zumba. I will share it with you if you want to, to dance. <laughs> and it is cool because it has choreographies and it's very easy. And you just follow the steps. So that's the difference. Yeah, teacher, uh, I think that for me, uh, all the exercise is very important for me. Uh -huh. I love so you, all the exercise. So you do, yeah. you do all the different types of exercise? Yeah, if I can, I do it. Very good job. Okay, what about the rest? Play. I just like jumping. Jumping, and Christina? I hate weight training. Weight. Oh, the weights, right? Yeah, it is uh, weight, weight lifting. The weight lifting is like, oh my God, one, two, three, four. Yeah, weight lifting. I also like the bicycle, right? The bicycle or all these like, uh, like this type of machines that are similar to the bicycle. I like those, but the weight training, it's difficult. Let's see. What kind of activities 
does your job or studies involve? What kind of activities do you do in your job or at school? So for example, in my case, I am the principal of the academy. So I have to do everything, checking on the teachers, checking the classroom, checking computers, checking the markers, checking attendance, everything. So I have to do everything. What do you do in your job? ¿Qué es lo que hacen ustedes en su trabajo? What activities do you do? Using ING. Do you answer the phone? So you say answering the phone, taking notes, creating reports. What do you do in your job? I think that the only activity that I do is when I, I help to my mother to clean my house. Okay, so your activities involve cleaning the house. Yeah. Cleaning the house. What about the rest? In my case, teacher, I don't work yet, but what I study involve talking in public a lot because, as I said before, I study a degree in English. And the classes, the, most of them, like, I don't know how to say this in English, but expositions? Presentations. No, oh, okay, well, like all, most of the classes includes a lot of presentations and talking in public. And when I talk, when I have to talk in public, I get very nervous and I don't like that. But it's the only career that I like, so. And it is it is curious because, uh, yeah, in English, if you are if you are studying a degree in English, all your life will be about talking. <laughs> so there is no there is no moment on which you keep silence, for example. So mostly when you are like evaluating or something, but for the rest, it includes a lot of speaking. So in public, you say public, not public, public. Yes, it's. It's kind of weird to me because I get very nervous, but that's what my career is about. Yes. <laughs> about talking in public. Yeah, and, and and but once once you do it the first time, you never stop. I think I remember my first class yeah. and I said, like, I know yo nunca voy a ser maestra. I said. And here I am. <laughs> and I said, like, I know my primera clase, bueno, solo voy a dar esta, y ya estuvo, y ya salimos de esto, ya. Because it was kind of obliged, I was pushed to do it. And I said, like, no, only, only this class, and that's it. But after the first class, eh, it was on the 24th of August, 20, 2004, en el 2004, 24 de agosto. It was my first class. And I taught the class. And I love it. I fell in love with, with languages, with classes, with sharing, with people. So, and I have been here all these years. Working every day, teaching. So I, I really like it. So Nati, you will do a great job. Let's go over the next question. What housework, what housework do you not mind doing? The one that you say, yeah, eso lo hago yo, mamá, y déjelo. I like it. What housework do you not mind doing? Lifting your feet when someone is mopping is not including, okay? Levantar los pies cuando andan trapeando, eso no, es, no está incluido. That's I not included. <laughs> I don't mind doing that. I don't mind. I don't mind cooking. Cooking, okay, cooking. But housework, housework includes cleaning the restroom, cleaning the bathroom, all the housework that includes like all these activities at home, okay? Cooking, it's one for sure, it's included, right? You, I don't mind cooking. What is another thing that you don't mind? I don't mind cleaning the bathroom. Cleaning the bathroom, I like that one. I like mm -hmm. that one. Yeah, but the thing is that I do some mixtures with, uh, with bleach and things, so. I see colors later. <laughs> uh, 
So I, I like to clean the, the restroom. Carlos. I don't mind this washing. Dish washing, wow, that's beautiful. I hate it. I hate to do the dishes. I love cooking, but I hate to do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fernanda. You are you are a very good compliment for this team. What is another thing that you don't mind? I don't mind. Mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, uh, doing the beds, uh, cleaning the windows. In my case, teacher, it's ironing on, what do you say, planchar? Ironing, yes, ironing. Ironing. Okay. You can iron all the clothes of your house. Yes. Puede, puede plancharles a todos, that's okay. Let's see. I am going to go off this one. What activities? What activities do you recommend to stay healthy? What activities do you recommend to stay healthy? Don't eat junk food. Don't eat junk food. Very good. Don't eat junk food. What else? Do exercises. Do exercise. Very good. What else? I don't drink have, water drink water yeah i don't have water today <laughs> okay i was going to show you my bottle i was having but i don't have drink a lot of water right drink a lot of water don't eat junk food do exercise what else we we shouldn't uh, drink coca-cola we shouldn't drink soda right don't drink soda especially coca-cola Huh. Are you listening? Are you listening, people? Huh? Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. Very good. Don't drink alcohol. What else? Only water. Only water. Okay, only water. Don't drink too much coffee. Yeah, the next one. Sleep well. Sleep well. Don't watch social media at night because you don't sleep, right? I don't know, maybe ahorita en TikTok, three hours, four hours, five hours, the next day. So those are things that you can do to stay healthy. The next one. What do you enjoy doing on the weekend? What do you enjoy doing on the weekend? I enjoy spending my time with my family. Okay, I enjoy spending my time with my family. I enjoy spending. Okay, enjoy and then ing forms. Very good. What what is something else that you enjoy during the weekend? I enjoy watching movies with my son. I love to watch movies. Listening to music. Listening to music, very good, Ana Julia. What going, else? Going to the beach. Going to the beach, yeah, that's so nice. Another one? I enjoy reading a book. Reading books, reading a book, right? Reading books. Oscar? Waking, wake up late. Waking up late. Oh, that is the best part. I don't do it because I work. Playing in the park. Playing in the park. That's so beautiful, right? On Saturday and Sunday. Teacher, I, I enjoy playing uh, soccer in the weekend. Playing soccer. Wow, that's really beautiful, right? So you see, we have many simple questions that we can use to practice our English, right? And in this book that I have, I, am, I can share it with you. I have a lot of questions for every single topic, right? And in this book, you have, for example, questions with infinitives. You have the grammar description. You have imperatives, for example. And then you have the explanation and question to practice the topic, okay? 
So if you want the book, I am going to send you the link. Solo me dicen, teacher, me regale el libro. And I will send it to you. Or I will send it to the group and you can download it, okay? So that will be my, my birthday gift for you. You have all the topics and all the practice. Right? You have different questions for each of the topics. It is one of my favorites. I really love to use this ones. Well, let's go over the manual. We're going to practice, right? Yesterday, I told you to finish the practice on the book, but many of you didn't do it. We are going to do it right now, okay? Remember that yesterday we were talking about situations and what you should do on each of the situations, right? Here, I have a, a couple of examples and things that you should have done. The first situation that I have here, Christina, can you help me to read number one? Um, the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Okay, do you get all the information about this question? Do you understand all the vocabulary? Spilled. Spilled. Okay, imagine that, okay. Imagine que en una taza. Okay. Imagine que en una taza. Imagine that this is a cup. Okay. And what we are going to do right now, it's an example of what could have happened. If you have a, a, a cup, right, and you're drinking coffee, and then you do like, whoop, and all the coffee goes out, and it falls over the book, it's like, whoosh, ee, Jesus Christ. Imagine if you have your book, and you spill coffee on it, it will be like, ah, oh, you know, oh my God, oh my God. And the book is like all wet, right? There is a spill. A spill is derramar. You use it. Chorrear, to chorrear. <laughs> chorrear in good Spanish, right? Okay. <laughs> well, but you no, know, it's different because chorrear is when you are drinking and it falls on you. It's like, oh, I'm a chorrear, you say. But spill is like when you have something on your hand and it falls. Es como cuando se, se te cae la mano. Se te cae las manos o lo botas, o lo empujas y se cae. Eso es spill. El, el chorrear would be like, oop. I stain. A stain is chorrear. I will say here, a stain is cuando te chorreas, cuando te cae lo que estás comiendo. And a spill is derramar. Okay, que se cae todo así, todos lados. Stain es mancharte cuando comes y spill es botar o derramar algo. The next situation, what it's number two. Eh, René, help me. I saw a classmate sharing uh, an exam, so I wrote here a letter about it. Okay, I saw a classmate cheating on an exam, so I wrote her a letter about it. Ana Julia, read number three. A friend of mine always has messy hair, so I I gave him a comb for the, his birthday. Okay, so I gave him a comb. A comb is un peine, right? I gave him a comb on his birthday. A friend of mine always has messy hair, right? Siempre del pelo desordenado. So I gave him a comb for his birthday. The next one, number four. I am going to ask Elmer, please. I hit someone's car when I was leaving a parking lot. Look, luckily, 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 no, look, luckily, no one saw me. Okay, luck. Luckily. 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 There you go. Luckily, no one saw me, right? You hit a car when you were going out of the parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. Sandrita, help me number five, please. My aunt got me a cigarette lighter for my birthday. My birthday. But I, do, but I don't smoke. I gather it back to her so i gave it back to her right my aunt gave me a cigarette lighter a lighter is an encendedor right? oh, for my okay. 
talking about it. Okay, but in this case, it's the aunt. It's a girl. How tall? Her dad. Will... It. I prefer. I prefer. Okay, so that's exactly what we are going to I do right now. Her something else. else, right? That's exactly what we are going to do right now. We are going to find. Uh, the counterpart, we're going to find a solution for each of these situations. For example, this one, and it says, the teacher borrow my favorite book and spill coffee over it. Letter C. Letter C. C. I will have spoken to the teacher about it, right? Quizás el teacher solo le devolvió el libro, sí. Bye. I will have spoken to the teacher about it. That is one option. Do you have anything else? No, it's okay. Let's go with the next one. I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. So I wrote her a letter about it. What would be the should part of this maybe letter g. g letter, letter g. g you should have warned her not to do it again it's like i saw you i saw you and that's not correct so please don't do it again okay that's good very good number three what would be the opinion about this one number three a friend of mine always has messy hair What would you have done? Just not to say anything. Letter A. Letter A, Letter exactly, A. like that, right? You should have spoken to him about it, right? It's like when, when the person has a problem with the smell, right? And you say like, it smells horrible, but you don't say anything. So you go and talk to the person. You don't give him a deodorant, right? Ay, toma este desodorante. Si vamos a ponernos desodorante. <laughs> no, right? You just talk about the problem, right? You just talk about the problem and it is better, right? It's a better solution. I hit someone's car, but luckily no one saw me. You should have left a note for the owner. You should have left a note for the owner. It is right here. H. Letter H. My aunt gave me a cigarette lighter for my birthday. What should you have done? You okay. should have exchanged it for something else. You should have exchanged it, right? It's like, yeah, you take it. Ah, thank you very much. And you go back to the place and you exchange it for something else. Or, yeah, so that, that is one option. I will have waited for the owner to come back. In which situation you can use this one as well? Number four. Number More four, culture. right? About the car, right? You should have waited for the owner to come. I wouldn't have said anything in which situation. situation. Number two. Number two, right? That you saw someone cheating on an exam. It is not correct, but it's an option, right? You should have done that one. I will have told her that I prefer something else. Number five. Number five, right? About the aunt that she gave a cigarette lighter. It is very rude because the person didn't know if you smoke or not. So those are good solutions. Very good job. Don't, don't be polite. But <laughs> yeah. Could be... It could be a very good thing, right? In this case, remember the pronunciation for the answer of this one. What would you have done? What would you have done? In this case, the pronunciation of have, it is not exactly as it is to say have done. What would you have done? Have done. The V-E, what would you have done? And in this one, you say, I will have told her. I will have told her about to leave, sorry. You shouldn't have lied, right? I should have been honest. I should have said something. I wouldn't have said anything right? with the B-E form. So that is just a, like a quick remark for you to remember. 
that you say like, what will you have done? That's correct, right? But if you want to use a little bit of a better pronunciation, you say, what will you have done? I've done. Practice with me. What will you have done? What would you, what have, would you done? have done? I will have told her to leave. I could have told her. I would have, have, have told, told her, her, told her to leave. You shouldn't have lied. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have, have lied. lied. You should have been honest. You should have been honest. honest. I will have said something. I would I have, said something. have said something. I wouldn't have said anything. I wouldn't, I have, wouldn't have, have said, said anything. anything. Very good job. So, this is a curious question. But do you have any regret in your life? Regret. What is a regret when you say, ah, yeah, I should have bought that. Lo hubiera comprado, hubiera ido, hubiera aceptado. What is one regret that you have in your life? Regret is something that you say, ah, que hubiera pasado si lo hubiera hecho. Think about it. I always come with these very curious questions for you. Do you have any regrets? I have one regret in my life. I should have traveled to other countries when I was younger. I should have studied English. I should have studied before. English before. <laughs> I should have a study at the university. <laughs> I should have studied at the university. But it's this is a good <laughs> starting point. Good, Byron. If you haven't done okay. it, how old are you, Byron? <laughs> I am 21 years old. Oh my God. No, you have all the life to do it. Don't worry. <laughs> no, yo tengo 38 y estoy estudiando todavía. Estudio una cosa, estudio otra, salgo de una, estudio otra. So, Continue, I don't, you have the life in front of your eyes. You can go, okay, go to the university. Yeah, don't say I should have, no. Say like, I will, I will go. Good, it is not a regret, a regret yet. No está cosido as a regret. We can change it. What is another thing that you regret? I should have married my boyfriend, you see. I should have married my first girlfriend. I should have bought that cell phone. What is something that you regret? I should have bought the mangoes. But you didn't. Uh -huh. I should have enjoyed more my years of high school. I should have enjoyed more my years of high school. Yes. Look at the strategy that we have here. When you say I, that is the subject, I should have, and here you have the verb in past and the situation, right? I should have, and here you have a past tense, right? Here you are going to have a past tense form, right? I should have enjoyed, I should have had, but I should have married. What is the, what is your sentence? Let's create one. I should have studied veterinary medicine. Yes, me too. But I love teaching, so I don't regret. <laughs> I should have studied veterinarian. Good. I should have what? Me teacher. Uh-huh. I should have started uh, exercising earlier. I should have started exercising earlier, right? Yeah. Very good. And as we have affirmative sentences, we also have negative forms. You say like, um, I shouldn't have fought with my brother, right? No me hubiera peleado con mi hermano. I shouldn't have said that. 
I shouldn't have mentioned that. Something that you, you can also make it negative, right? No debía haberlo hecho. I shouldn't have missed classes because now I don't have the 80%. <laughs> I should have done my homework. I should have practiced in class when the teacher was asking. Give me one. Emma, what a beautiful thing to see your camera. We can see your beautiful face. That's so beautiful. You should have turned on the camera before. Another example. <laughs> oh, but you are here. At least today and tomorrow, we are going to see your beautiful face. I have an example. Yep. I shouldn't have lost many friends. I shouldn't have lost all my friends, right? Or many friends. I shouldn't have lost contact with my friends, right? Because that is something that also happened, right? That you stopped. I, sh uh -huh. I shouldn't have eaten much last night. I shouldn't have eaten much that last night. So in this much case, beans. I'm much being a oui. <laughs> And your wife, oh my God, Rene. Are you married, Rene? No, I am not. Okay, so lucky, lucky that you can do that still, right? Once you get married, you cannot eat a lot of beans because that's a problem. It will it will cause divorce. Okay. So I have to support me myself. <laughs> okay, I have I have to get along with myself, right? Get along is like supportarme. I have to get along with myself. Good. Get along. I have to get along. So it's like, nah, you have to resist. Resist is like, hold on, on your own. Well, let's go over this one. This is exactly what we were just doing. I shouldn't have said that. What is your advice to these different uh, members, right? To these different people that we have here. We have a lot of problems. We're going to start with these three here, okay? I am going to leave the three the three different problems and I'm going to start calling the attendance, okay? I need you to read the three situations, okay? Lean los, las tres situaciones que tenemos aquí. I have the first one right here, dear Alice. And then we have the next one, feeling guilty. And the last one that is tired mom. We have three situations. So please read them while I call the attendance. Okay, se la voy a dejar en pausa para que las puedan leer mientras paso listo, okay? There you go. Practice reading. If you have questions on pronunciation, tell me, okay? Teacher, how do you say? Or teacher, how do you read this and that? Okay, let's start here. Ana Julia. Thank you. Thank you. Just Give me one second because I'm losing everything. Okay, here I go. Ten, ten, ten. Okay, here we go. Ana Julia, thank you. Byron? Present. Carlos Fernando? Present. Eh, Cristina Abigail? Present. Damaris Merari? Daisy Magdalena Present here Elizabeth del Carmen Present teacher Thank you Elmer Mauricio Present teacher Elvia Sofía Present Emma Jamilet Present teacher Giselle Cecilia Giselle Giselle Let's see. Hey, I don't have Giselle today. Okay. Iris Rosario. Present. Manuel Alejandro. Present. Marbelli Jocelyn. Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Natalie Geraldine. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson Rolando. Present. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. 
Patricia Verónica. Yes, chef, aquí estoy. Thank you, Pablito. <laughs> Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. No, I don't have Patricia today. René David. Here, teacher. Sandra Janet. I'm here. Sara Maria. I'm here. And Saul Arnulfo. Here. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back to the screen that I have here. And I will keep sharing. Good. What is, oh, do you have any questions on vocabulary, by the way? Teacher, what's the meaning of? Questions? No questions. I have a so, question. Okay, Nadi, go ahead. What's the meaning of this trot? And it is on one, two, or three. One. Let's see. Ah, this trot sister, right? In this case, I have, okay, let me just go here. It says, a, this trot is like, like, for example, when you are uh, ashamed of something, right? That you, you feel guilty, that it's a distraught. It's like, oh my God, I don't want anybody to see me, please. I want to disappear from this world, right? Distraught is like kind of a shame, right? It's a, it's a synonym of that. A shame, a penada, destruida, a congojada. Now that's a distraught thing. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more? Everything yes, is uh -huh. in, in three. Yes. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. It's yes. right here. Mientras tanto. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Another synonym for distraught, Nati, is upset. Upset. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Another one. Upset. How is been offered? Affair. I, of I offered to pay. Ah, I offered to pay. Where is it? Offered. No, one, two, or three. Uh, second. Two. Uh, I offered to pay. Yo me ofrecí a pagarlo. I offered to pay. Okay. Right, that's okay. Of that. I offered Thank to you. Pay. Very good. Another one. <laughs> what is the meaning of confront? What is the when meaning of confront? When uh -huh. we speak with, with someone. We when you speak with problem, someone. Whatever. Very good. What is the meaning of argument? When we had the answer, the when we we know what is the truth, for example. Mm, but what is argument? A fight. A fight. It's like a fight, right? We had an argument, but it's just verbal. A fight it includes uh, when you hit someone, right? But an argument is just like no, que va, que yo, que tú, que no sé qué, nosotros, whatever, right? That's an argument. Okay, I argue with her. You say. The next one, let's see, broke up. Broke up, what is it? In the relationship. To end, to end or end. finish a relationship. relationship, very good job. What is the meaning of refuse? refuse. Deny. Deny, to say no, right, deny. Very good, then next one. What is it mean? What is the meaning of enough? Hard enough. I am worried that he's not trying hard enough. It has a meaning in Spanish. 
Es como suficiente, basta. Exactly like that, suficiente. He's not trying hard enough. No está, no está tratando lo suficientemente like, fuerte. No, es lo, no lo está haciendo lo suficientemente eh, necesario. So, suficiente. Good, very good. The next one, sim. What's the meaning of yes, sim? Don't, don't sim. appear. Aha, uh -huh, appear. Like same, appear. Mm, similar, but when you say like, but he can seem to find a job that he likes. But he can seem. Like apparently. Wow. Apparently, right? Apparently. And. Okay, that's sim. Like, no parece. No parece encontrarlo. Okay, let's see. Let's go over the first situation. I am going to ask, uh, let me see. I am going to ask Pablo to help me to read the first one. Dear Alice. Okay, uh, dear Alice, my son, my son is uh -huh. uh, 23 years. This one, this one, the first one. My son is 20, 23, 23 years old. This one, Paulito, he... the first one. Dear Alice, yes. someone told me Dear Alice, the first one. Someone told me that that uh, my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. Guy. I felt I should let my brothers know, uh, and after I did, he conf confront confronted. Confront her. Go ahead. Confront her white uh, the story a dog she then then denied. denied it caused a terrible ter, ter, as you said, is it? terrible terrible Go ahead. i i don't want to interrupt Argument. you but at the end i'm going to correct you argument and they almost broke broke up now it it turns out that the rumor wasn't true. Uh, true. Uh, and my brother has stopped stopped Stop. speaking in speaking to me. Okay, very good. So let's listen. I am going to read it, and I need everybody to listen because we are going to practice. Dear Alice, dear Alice, someone told me, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did. Okay. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did, he confront her with the story. Although she denied it, it caused a terrible argument and they almost broke up. Now it turns out that the rumor wasn't true and my brother has stopped speaking to me. Okay, go with me, practice with me. Someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. Someone told me. Someone told me Someone that told me my brother's was, was, another another was dating, dating, say dating another guy. Dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did. And after and I, did, I did, he confronted her, confront her, he confronted her, confront her with the story. story. With the story. Okay. And after I did, he confronted her with the story. 
In after I did, he confronted her with the story. He confronted her with the story. Although she denied it, although she denied it, it caused a terrible argument and they almost broke up. It caused a terrible argument and they almost broke up. Look. Now it turns out that the rumor wasn't true. Now, now, it now, 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 now that the rumor was true. Wasn't true. And my brother has stopped speaking to me. And my brother has stopped speaking to me. Okay, so what was the problem, right? She listened to a rumor and she said like, hey, my God, what a bad woman and everything. And she went to talk to her brother and her brother fought with the, with the girlfriend and then everything was a lie. And now she is the bad of the story, right? She's the bad one of the story. That's why she is a distraught sister. What should uh, Alice, though, what should be like, in this case, the sister, what should the sister have done? ¿Qué debería haber hecho? I think it, it is always better mm, not to interview in, in couples' problems. Exactly, not to interfere. Because at the end, uh, they fix their problems and uh, we can stay the enemy. Exactly, right? You cannot interfere in other people's problems. What should... But it's my brother. Uh-huh. I'm going to say the truth. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure, right? If it is your brother, you have to let them know. But in many cases, if it is a relationship, they never listen. Even when it is true. What is another option? She should have said, like, she should have said anything. Um, Let's we list. should we, we should investigate and and check the that's that is very true. good. You should investigate first. And if it's true, you can say something, but if it is not true, don't say anything. It, or, or or is only a gossip. It's a gossip or a rumor. Very good. Thank you. Very good answers. Christina Abigail, help me with second. This is the second reading, please. Dear Alice, I was at a friend's house for dinner recently. Recent. During dinner, recently, during dinner, I accidentally broke a beautiful vase. It was my friend's favorite wedding present. I offered to pay for it, but she refused. So I have insist, insisted I still feel bad about it. <laughs> the feeling guilty guy. Okay, very good reading, right? Excellent pronunciation. The only things that we have to change is recently offered and instead, uh, insisted, sorry, insisted. Dear Alice, I was at a friend's house for dinner recently. During dinner, I accident accidentally broke a beautiful vase. It was my friend's favorite wedding present. I offered to pay for it, but she refused. Should I have insisted? I still feel bad about it. What should you have done? ¿Qué habrían hecho ustedes en su lugar? I should have or you should have. What, what should you have done in her place? In my case, I, 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 I should have a policy 
Apologize. Well, apologize. Apologize and don't ask. Don't ask. Uh, uh, only buy another. Yeah, exactly. Very good answer. Buy another one and give it to her. Right. That is a very good answer, right? To buy another one and to give it to her. Because many people feel offended if you leave the money, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't matter, but it's okay. <laughs> Me siento ofendida, pero lo tomo. <laughs> you get the money. <laughs> so, I you think just, that it's, uh -huh. it is a very difficult situation, but the thing happened, if we can do anything about that. Exactly. If it was an accident, you it's can an do accident. much. Yeah. You cannot do much if it is an accident. But uh, Rene has a very good answer, right? You should have bought another one and give it to her in a different color or something. I don't know, but to fix the situation. The last example, right? Let's see. Oh, Carita, now that you are at home, help us with the third one. Yeah, I am trying to connect with the, with the oh, laptop. Okay. okay, don't worry, don't worry. I am going to ask uh, Emma to help me. This one. Yes, that one. My son is 23 years old. He finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job that he really likes. He still lives at home. And I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and be on his own. Meanwhile, if being cooking his meal and doing his lounge tire month. It's like a tire mom. He is 23 years old. Get out of here, right? Shoo, shoo. He's 23 years old. He finished college, but he can seem to find a job that he likes. He is still lives at home. And I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and be on his own. Meanwhile, I've been cooking for uh, all his meals and doing his laundry. What should this mom do? ¿Qué harían ustedes como padres de familia de este angelito de 23? I think that uh, she should give give him more responsibilities okay. uh, around, around the house and, uh, and help you find a new job. And help him find a new job, definitely. What else would this mother do? Send her help uh -huh. him find a new job. Okay. And I speak, do you have your responsibilities? Okay, to give more responsibilities, right? You need to start paying okay. for the internet because you use it. <laughs> Get some money, do something. Uh -huh. First, she, she should uh, talk with, he, with him yeah. about, about the, 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 the trouble. Yeah, because in many of the cases, you feel bad about something, but you don't say anything. Es un factor común salvadoreño. Te molesta, pero no decís nada. And you are like, ay, mira, que y le cuenta medio mundo. Pero no hace nada al respecto. So you should have talked or you should have speak with him uh, about this situation. You should speak with him about it. I would like to say something. Yeah? Yeah, I think that we can have a career but in this time, I think that it is very difficult to get a job. And for that reason, I think that if I had 23 years old, I think that I can get another job. Okay, you can get another job, right? And in many of the cases, it's like, yes, it's, it's kind of difficult, but many people here, for example, I really admire all the ones that are looking for opportunities to become better uh, workers right? A person who is trying to excel in something, a person who is trying to improve in something, like all of us, for example, learning English because we want better opportunities. So that is really admirable, okay? Así como ustedes que estudian porque quieren mejores oportunidades, pero ustedes también suben su propia barra. So that is good. 
that it's going to help you a lot to find a better position at a better job. Yes. Well, because in, in this case, uh, he 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 want to 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 find a job that he likes. Exactly. No, not other, not not other, not, people, other not words. Any any job. type of job, right? And he's not trying hard enough. It's like my 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 father said something like sale buscando sale a buscar trabajo pidiéndole a Dios no encontrar. <laughs> so like ay, mañana empieza. Ay, no podemos empezar tipo la otra semana. <laughs> It is the, this like the sentence. He's not trying hard enough. You are not doing a bigger effort for It's something. Like Don Ramon. <laughs> exactly right. But I don't know how. He was on vacation on the beach and everything and without working. Well, yes. <laughs> it is admirable. Here we have other four situations, right? Here we have other four situations that we are going to be using for tomorrow's class. So please try to read them. So, and we can do this for tomorrow, okay? We are going to work on these other four situations. Remember that we are meeting the same time tomorrow for our final class. So this is not our final session, but tomorrow will be. Get ready because we're going to practice a lot. We're going to practice speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So it will be very hey. nice. Yeah. Good so, night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.